Once in a while, someone shows me a hack that I just, it blows my mind. And I think, how did you come up with that? So this is an awesome little hack from Owen. Here's Owen, go and check him out on uh, LinkedIn, um, who in turn said he got inspired by this from a post by Phil Seamark. So yeah, you know, the community sharing these tips are just awesome. Right. Let me show you what the hack is or what the, what the aim here is. Let's say I've got some sales to a customer group called Trial, and I just like to exclude those from every page. So I simply pop out the filter panel on the side here. I can go to customer group. You know, I can drag customer group into here. And then I want to select all, but don't include the trial. Okay, so the trial's gone. And let me just bring that back just to show you the number, just so you check what we're doing here. The trial was 55,000 of sales and 46,000 of budget. So 55 and 46, okay? Just bear that in mind. Right, so let me just go back here and untick this. So I do that and that works beautifully. You know, each page is, you know, unfiltered for that. Uh, we're just showing, you know, every page is not showing the trial figures. That's the figures for 2021, okay? But what if I want a page just showing the results for the trial? So maybe I've got seven pages for no trial, but then I want to show a trial page like this. Here we go, 55 and 46. Yet this filter is saying is not trial. So how am I showing the trial figures? Okay, let's go. So before we see the hack, let's talk about the two manual sort of ways of doing this. And these are probably the better way of doing it, to be honest. But I just love the hack. It's really cool. So what you could do is simply go into each page. And rather than doing filter on all pages, you simply add your filter, your customer group, to this page. Now let me just turn off this one. Okay. So you could select all and unselect trial. And then you just repeat that for every page, except for the page that you want to show the trial on, where you would just tick trial. That's the way, okay? It's just manual. You just do it over and over again. The other way is you could publish this report. Okay, so you set it to filter for out the trial for every page. And you just, you know, you don't put that trial page in this report. What you do is you just say, okay, file, I'm just gonna save a copy. This is the published report. And this is gonna be the trial. Okay, so this is just gonna be the trial report. Go save. And then essentially you edit this report and you can delete all the pages that aren't the trial pages. Or you could even simply come in here and just go edit. All right, and just change this one to actually just show the trial. Again, it's just simple, it's clear, it's clean. You're not gonna get weird sort of DAX results happening. And then, you know, this report, if I save it, if I go back to reading view, and save. If I go, I would share this as an app in that case. So I go in here, I've got my unfilter a single page and my trial version. I could create an app and then just share, you know, both reports within the app. So then the app looks something like this, where you have your main report, you know, that you can see the trial isn't showing. And then you just down here, you have the trial report, which is showing just the trend. And that could be one page, it could be, you know, you can edit this to be whatever you want. So there we go. And it's just connected to the same, you know, data set. So when it refreshes the main one, this report auto updates as well. Okay, so that's the practical way, but let's have a look at the really cool hack. My page here, okay, has got the filter applied. So trial is unticked, customer group is not trial. The there's two steps to this, they're not hard. It's, this is really cool. First thing, you've got to go into model view and you go over to a calculation group under the model setting. If you don't see that, you might have to turn it on under preview features, calculation groups, okay? So under here, new model view, 
I've gone here, right click, new calculation group, or click new calculation group. And then you come down and you say new calculation item. Okay, again, right click, new calculation item, or click that little button there. And this is the magic formula. This is what Owen showed me um, and the technique, the concept here. You just put selected measure, which basically covers all measures, and then remove filters um, from the customer group. So that breaks out of the context. So let's just go do that. It's not the end of the story though, all right? So check this out. We go here, we've got the whole thing showing everything except the trial. So I now go to my calculation group that I just created. I'm gonna bring that onto the page level. Okay, filter on this page and remove it. Okay, so we've now got the grand total. So then how do I reapply the trial? Well, that's the slightly annoying thing is that you do then have to create a separate table. So I just used Power Query to say equals, or just basically right click reference the customer table and call it, called it a new name, all right? So here we go. I did have to create a duplicate table, trial customer table. And all it is, is in Power Query, right click reference on the customer table and rename it. That's it. Okay, so then with this table, I can use the customer group. So back into my report view, I go over to my trial customer table and I bring in trial customer group, which is why I renamed the column just to make it nice and clear. I can drop it on here. Well, actually, I already put it in. And then we can tick trial. And there's the 55 and 46. Again, we've sort of, we've removed the filter context from these ones. So that customer group, I need to swap out. So if I click on this visual, I go untick my customer group and go down and tick my trial customer group. Yeah, there's the trial, move that up. And I could even break that down by customer name maybe. But it's pretty cool that it works. Okay. It's a pretty nice hack. And that's it. Okay. Let me know what you think. Is there an easier way? Have we missed something? Have I, have I sort of confused you with this? Do you think you'll find this useful? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.